Hi, my name is David Mercado, and this year I'm celebrating my 13th anniversary as a host for various events, including my favorite, weddings. As part of this celebration, I'd like to give back by sharing a few tips that I've learned along the way on how to create a wedding reception that is worth remembering. More specifically, I'm going to address three of the top concerns that have been raised by my clients through the years. These three concerns are, first, how can we keep guests from leaving in the middle of the program? Second, what is the ideal starting time and length of a wedding reception? Third, can I opt not to hire a wedding coordinator for my event? I've had clients tell me stuff that are similar to this. David, my ceremony is at 3 in the afternoon. I'd like my reception to begin around 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock. I understand that couples are concerned about having their guests wait for too long. That's why they assume they can begin their reception almost immediately after the ceremony. I'd love to do that too. But unfortunately, it's not realistic. The standard time for the reception program is three hours after the start of the ceremony. For example, if you have your ceremony begin at exactly 2 p.m., your reception program will be at 5 p.m. To have room for some unexpected delays, latest will be plus 30 minutes. So as a prudent host, if your ceremony began 2 p.m., I must start 5 p.m. or no later than 5.30 p.m or else your guests will eat me alive. Three hours might seem like a very long time, but actually it's not. Let me explain what happens in that period. You have your ceremony which lasts around an hour. You have the church pictorials and recessional. You have your post-nuptial shoot. You have the travel from the church to the reception venue. You have traffic. You have hair and makeup retouch. Plus, there must be an allotted time for the couple to eat before the reception program. And then, there are delays and unexpected aberrations in the schedule. Believe me, you won't notice that those three hours have passed. As for your guests, provide them with heavy snacks during the cocktail period and have your host do warm-up activities and appropriate games while they're waiting. David, my ceremony and reception are at the same venue. Still, more or less the same. Remove the additional 30 minutes and remove the travel time slash traffic. You still have approximately three hours. Unless you decide to remove your photo sessions after ceremony and you decide to forego post-nuptial pictorials. Still, I always insist that the couple eat before the program because it is highly unlikely that they'll have time to eat during the reception, especially if they have 100 guests or more. Two hours is the maximum length of an ideal reception program. Beyond that, and the event will start to feel tedious and boring. Sometimes, couples can get overexcited and overwhelmed that they add so many elements to their program. Too many games, too many speeches, and a whole lot of performances. Of course, it's your day. You get to decide what happens in the program, but it wouldn't hurt. In fact, it would be wise to ask and trust your host and or coordinator on how and how long your program should run. Included in my services is a standardized program intended to run a maximum of two hours. This program is flexible according to the client's needs. Couples can add or remove parts as they desire. Your wedding is a milestone event. It deserves nothing less than the best. Hire a pro. If you want to watch more videos and get more tips, just click on the link in the description. For more information about my services, or if you want to read reviews from my clients, visit my page at facebook.com slash davidmercadoofficial.